Hi there, folks. Hey there. Hi there. Hello and welcome. I'm sharing this to get more folks, so bear with me. Uh, that's the way it goes. At the whole social media. Oh my thing, god, man. I said paste. <laughs> We're here. And I'm still in my makeup from last night. Kids with your phones. I know. And I tell you what. You had this all taken care of before. Yeah, well. Just for the love of God, pay. There we go. <laughs> all right. Yay! We are here, folks. We are here. We are here. We are here. Um, let me actually... My phone's about to die. Is your phone good? My phone works. Can you share from my page to Audio Roast before I my... can share from my well, page to Audio Roast. Yep. Here we go. Hang on, actually. I might be able to... Uh, right here. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Why not? You got it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I see somebody watching. Say hello out there so we can see who's with us. We would love to be able to cook with you and uh, just have some fun. Chat, you know, all that. I'm going to flip this little thing. That'll there we done. go. Yes. Now we're cooking. Not at all, actually, yet, but, you know. All right, all right. Um, so... We've got some water boiling, well, working on boiling, attempting to boil. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of those meals that comes together super, super quick, so we wanted to start right here together with you guys. We are making traditional carbonara. Yeah. Josh, what do you know about carbonara? Carbonara, it's a, for, it's a sauce, it's a pasta, it's Italian. What well, gave that away? It's got, well, I know it's got... It's got pancetta, and people like add chicken to it to make a chicken carbonara. They can, it's got eggs in it. I know that. That's like a, the thickener. Okay, so, okay, so yes. I mean, uh, historically, I don't know anything uh, <laughs> about it, like, historically. Okay, all right. I don't know, so, like, and that's why I, came down from what Right, so that's like, why I, said. yeah, I don't know all that either. I'm, I'm as Missouri boy as it gets. I know that pasta puttanesca is a horse sauce. Watch your mouth for. Um, so traditional um, carbonara has only got four ingredients. Okay, uh, pasta, eggs, cheese, black pepper. Nothing. That's it. Nothing. Okay. Um, now, a lot of people will add peas or chicken or mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And when you start doing that, it's not that it's not good. It's just no longer carbonara. It's okay. something different. Uh, so we're going to try to please the internet gods okay. and do it as traditional as possible. So yes, the right. sauce is actually made with just cheese and egg and some of the pasta water as your starch. Okay. So yeah. it makes a really creamy, really good dish. So we're going to get things started. Um, that's pancetta, then. That's pancetta. Uh -huh. So traditionally, what you would actually use is guanciale, which guanciale. is yep, uh, which is um, <laughs> pig cheek. Yes. So. Uh, that's being here in Missouri, very hard to find, surprisingly. Right. Even though we, it's not like we're allergic to pigs. I should have had this open before we started. Oh, well, hog jowls. We can find hog jowls. So the difference is those are smoked. Uh, you want cured. You want cured. Yep. Otherwise, it's going to have like a really overwhelming smoky kind of flavor. Right. So what we're going to do, Josh, I'm going to let you do the whole thing. Yep, the whole All thing. Right. Uh, start at no or low heat. 
Um, anytime that you're doing, uh, here you go. I got you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Anytime that you're doing bacon or any kind of meat that needs to be rendered, and this needs to be rendered, not fried or whatever. Um, the reason being is because you want that fat to melt and have time for that to happen before the meat part of it gets done or overdone. Nice so Nice tip. Yeah. So we'll do that. Waiting on this water to boil. Waiting on some friends to join. Really? Uh, let me, um, yeah, you know, while well, since nobody's here yet, I'm going to grab my phone charger. You're right. I'm going to get some coffee. When we get back, there'll be 20 people on here watching this. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. Or something. Hey, we got we got somebody. Christopher Seek, I made it. Hey, good to see you, Christopher. Um, there we go. There, there you go. There you go. Uh, let me scroll down here at the bottom. Let me create something fancy real quick while we're doing this. We're trying to get stuff set up here still, Chris. Uh, bear with us. <laughs> we were trying to start at seven, and you know how things go. All right, all right, all right. We're making carbonara, baby. Let me. Sound like a, uh, it's a little too much. No, it's all right. Okay. Why is that not scrolling? Batteries? No. Oh, I didn't hit save. There we go. Got We're it. making carbonara. Mm -hmm. All right, so you know how it is. We got to play catch up. How's everybody's week? And by everybody, I mean Christopher Seek. How That's was right. your week, Mr. Seek? Do tell, do tell. How was your week? Mine was good. Um, yeah. Long, though. Really? It, was, it, it really felt like a long week. It really did. Um, I was so ready for Friday to hit. That by right before lunch, I was just done and ready for the weekend. Yeah. How about you? Well, uh, as you know, I, I Uber from time to time. Yes, you are a Uberer. Yes, and uh, the other night I had really two weird Uber. Calls. I love it. I love it. All right, let's hear one. Okay. I'll do the second one. What? While, while you're doing that, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna see about getting more folks in. Okay. Yeah. Call my mom. <laughs> One second. Let me let me call my mom. You do first. that. You do Hold that. Hold on. I'll tell that Uber story in just a second. I'm but call wait, my mom there's more. To find out why she's not watching. Okay. Christopher says the band debuts next month at Carrie's. Eleven Yay. dates booked for the year so far. Holy smokes, man! That's awesome. Uh, was great as always. How was yours? Yes. Um, busy. To be totally honest, very busy. Um, yeah. All right. Marsha. 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 I'm going to laugh if she sends you straight to voicemail. Yes, Joshua. How are you, Mom? I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm, I'm well. I'm, I'm live here on, at the studio, and we're, we're on, uh, are we on Facebook or are we on YouTube? YouTube. Just YouTube. So you'll have to watch us on YouTube, uh, the audio oh, roast. Okay. Uh, so why aren't you watching? <laughs> 
Oh, oh okay. hallelujah. Okay, well. We're making holy carbonara, yeah, so you're so in luck. If you go to a YouTube, do you have that on your phone? Do you have YouTube on your phone? Okay, so hop on there. We need we need viewers. Oh, okay. I'll okay. Do that. okay. Alrighty. <laughs> have you made Have you made carbonara before, Marsha? No, but it sounds interesting. I uh, definitely. You're spot on. It's interesting. Uh, we're, we're making okay. it tonight. Okay. Okay. okay well, I'll get I'll get on the YouTube here uh, uh, in just a second. Okay. All right, mom. Love awesome. You. All right, bye bye. bye. Y'all need to be doing that more often. That Call your moms. Is great entertainment. Mm -hmm. She cares. Yes, she is like CBS. She cares. All right, so Uber, Uber. We'll do the second one first. Okay. First, first, first one, one trumps the second. Yeah. Yep. So you call, pick up the lady. It's like a one minute trip. I was just. Not a big deal. Right. Oh, maybe maybe a five minute trip anyway. Pick her up from her house, and it's like half a block from Culver's. Okay. And ha a half a block. She wants me to take her to Culver's to go through the drive thru. Interesting. So we do that. We go through the drive thru. She orders like a bunch of stuff. I take her back home. So do you? Hang on. That's hang it. on. Hang on. Okay. How does that? How do, how does that work? Do you like pull up past where you would normally go and let her do the talking in the back seat? I did. Yes. Yeah. I I, yeah. I rolled up past and let her do. And then, <laughs> yeah. And you can do multiple destinations. You can do like a stop once, do a stop here, and then you go to a next stop. Gotcha. So first stop was Culver's. Second stop was back to her house. Okay. But, you know, she ended up spending probably about two thirds. On the ride is what you would have spent with the with the food too. So, oh you know, yeah, and then she gave me a nice tip. Nice. So I never had that experience before. Yeah, that's that's an experience for sure. The other one was uh, get to this gentleman's apartment complex and he comes limping out, and uh, you get in the car. How you doing? Oh, not that great. And said uh, said where we're we going tonight is a destination. They don't always tell you what. The, Actual end location. Don't give you an address. He goes, I'm drunk and I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I broke my foot. So, like, oh, yeah, okay. Where are we really going? Oh, yeah, we're going to Mercy. So, driving to the ER. Takes forever to get out of my car. I had to get a wheelchair for him. Oh, get my him gosh. In the wheelchair and roll him into the front desk. Here you go. Your problem. That'll now. be 2250 yeah. sir. <laughs> But at least he didn't try to drive with a broken foot. Yeah, that's... And drunk. So. Yeah, that's good. Good. You did your Boy Scout good deed of the week. I did. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so if you're just joining in, please do say hello so we can see who of our friends are here with us tonight. Christopher Seek is here. Um, this is something, if you missed the first couple minutes, no worries. We're making carbonara... And this is something that's really easy to do, really easy to learn, and nothing to be scared of. Um, you want to go over the history of it again? It's got four ingredients. <laughs> only, <laughs> only four ingredients. Uh, so we've got our pasta, we've got egg, and we've got cheese. Uh, Pecorino Romano is what we've got. Um, and I'm sorry, Parmesan Reggiano. Okay. Um, I Pecorino, I should have picked up, and I, I totally forgot. So we'll we'll pretend. Now, are there um, traditional cheeses that go? The, in those are the traditional cheeses: Pecorino, Pecorino and uh, Parmesan, Parmesan Reggiano. Reggiano. Um, so you've got your pasta, your egg, your cheese, and your guanciale, but which is pig jaw. But tonight we're using pancetta. Okay. The main, and you can use bacon if if you're like I can't find any of this stuff or I don't want to spend that much money. Just get some bacon. We won't tell anybody. The The big thing, though, is you want to try to find a cured meat instead of a smoked meat um, because we want not to have that super smoky, smoky flavor. Yeah. So, pancetta is not a smoked meat. Right. It's, it's cured. cured. Yep. Yep. Um, I don't know what it was sick of and I, what, I, I what it was cured say. of, but, you know. It's like a, it's Stephen Cobb's here. Hey, Stephen. Good to see you, buddy. There's that. There you go. Yeah, Look at you getting water. all fancy, mate. And, uh, See that one right there. There's yeah. That. You know, if you wanted to, Josh, you could even. We got enough room if you want to set that up here. Okay. Good. I'd have to. 
This is an easy enough dish. We're not really crowded for space, so and it's all good. We're not gonna like. Uh, you can yeah. Make a mess yeah, yeah. on it. Exactly. Right? No. And if we do, who cares? Yeah. We'll clean it. That work? All right, that works. Yep. We go right there. The wide shot right there. We're back, folks. This is exciting. It is. So exciting. All right, so. We've never cooked together. We have not, and I'm glad you brought that up. Um, there's been many times where I'm like, you're stuck on that side of the um, equation of things, and I want to try to include you more on this side. Mm -hmm. So this is really fun. It's a lot more work, to be totally honest, back here behind the scenes. Uh, that's why we were a little bit late. Um, but... This is a lot of fun, and I, I really enjoy doing this live, too, um, where we can kind of get, if people have questions or if people have suggestions for recipes that they want us to do in the future, or if you're like, I make an amazing, hit me up, and we'll invite you into the studio, and we'll do it together and, and teach everybody your recipes. So, um, and that's the thing, too. When, when I say your recipe, I mean... You don't have to like, oh, well, what if we did three eggs instead of four? And what if, no, that's, I'm not talking about, we're not looking for chefs. We're right. looking for, hey, I found this TikTok, or hey, I saw this on YouTube, or hey, I did this. And we're just going to do it together yeah. as they do. I will say, I do personally have a rule of anytime I try a new recipe, mm -hmm. I try it as is. Right. Even, as, even if I'm like, well, this would be good with some parsley in this or something. Nope. Try it their way really? the first time. And then if you're like, yeah, I do think it would be good with some parsley or some basil or whatever, then do that. But at least, at least uh, give whoever it is that made the recipe mm -hmm. uh, the, the satisfaction or the whatever you would say. Just do it their way. Right. It's written that way for a reason. So, and then make your, your however it tastes best to you, make those changes that Adjust way. Just for your own palate. Boom! That's the words right. that I couldn't spit out. Do you ever watch Binging with Babish? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's not a whole lot of cooking YouTube that I haven't seen, to be honest. Okay. Um, yes, and I've got some favorites, but I keep those close to the best. And it is not Gordon Ramsay. He's trash. You heard it here first. And so no, is I don't think Guy Fieri. Is first, like, you don't like Guy Fieri? No. Trash. Anybody who wears their sunglasses like that all the time. Yeah, I all bet he time. listens to butt rock yeah. nonstop. Let's see here. Steven, how was your week, buddy? Let us know what's going on. What's going on, man? What's going on? We're getting there. We're getting there. The water's starting. I, I see some. I see some steam happening. So we're we're not too far away. That's a gigantic pot of water, though. So, uh, oh, that's what I was going to get to. Do you have one of those little fancy uh, pasta holders to put pasta in, so it doesn't like if you just. Out of the water. Yes, I have that here, um, and I'll tell you why I'm not doing that. Uh, because you want some of the pasta water in our dish right. tonight to thicken it up. Right. Now, if I was making just regular spaghetti or something, yes, and those are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's a tray that sits right inside here, and it's a colander already, already together. Right. Yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. The the thing that you got to be careful with those of is make sure that when you put your water in your pot, you've got that in first. Because mm -hmm. if you fill your water too much and then put that on, you're going to have mm -hmm. a big mess. So, right. um, Let's see here. Christopher Seek says, It's like adding salt and pepper to a dish before you take the first bite. Yeah. Try it first. You said it. Sorry, I didn't mean to elbow the crap no, out of you right. right there. Uh, but get the hell out of my way. Uh, <laughs> this kitchen ain't big enough for the both of us. Um, yes, that's very true. Um, another thing. We will use pepper in tonight's recipe. We will not use salt in the dish itself. We will salt the water. Uh, we'll talk about that. Our cheese is really salty, mm -hmm. so you don't want to just add blindly a bunch of salt. Uh, Christopher, you hit the nail on the head. Like, let's let's let our tongues do the the work for us, and well, you know. The rest happens. Uh, uh. Stephen says went well. I got invited to do a panel. For that Paranormal X that I'm in, it won't be until July, though. Wow, that's awesome, Stephen. Where is that happening? Is that up there in the KC area? And where can we find that? I, YouTube. I, it's on YouTube. He's on YouTube Okay, that. so I have, have you seen any of the episodes? Uh, yes. The, is there just one, or is there now two episodes, Stephen? Let us know. I know I've seen one. Okay, I need to make sure, because I was like, now, is it on, like, some sort of independent channel? No, no. Nope. On YouTube. On YouTube. Yep. Okay, so, yeah. Now, well, not to say that it couldn't maybe be in the future. I don't well, know. Streaming services are, are like 
the way of the future now. So I mean, truly, yeah. Well, and that's the, that's what makes it fun, and that's what makes this fun. Like, I don't have to try to get picked up and convince somebody. Hey, I promise I'm a good cook. Like, you're either gonna enjoy us and and right. say, you know what, I'm gonna try some of their stuff, or you're gonna be like, nope, and that's okay. Uh, Steven is gonna do that in Kansas City with the panel. Very okay. cool. Uh, Christy Pressler is here. Would have been a taste tester if I had got a ri- invite. Rude. Well. Come on down. Yeah, you know where You're we're the at. next contestant. Knock on our door. Yeah. We, we will have you over Can here. Can you hear me knocking? Honestly, so here's the thing, too. I made, and I should have posted pictures of this, and I probably will on my Facebook later. Um, I made uh, potato skillets earlier this morning. Well, this morning. Well, you, you it was like pictures. They look we good. started cooking it, too. Well, we started doing our mise en place, if you will, um, around 2.30, and it was 3.30 by the time we finished doing all that and eating it. So I was like, God, I'm so full. I don't want to think about what we're going to cook tonight. And so that's why I wanted something that was going to be really simple. I will say this meal will stick to your bones, man. You think, oh, it's just noodles and a little bit of meat? Like, that ain't nothing. Trust me. You will be full. You'll put some on your plate and go, oh, that's too much. That's too much. Uh, all right. So still just the one. Okay, so one episode. Okay. One episode. When can we expect your next one, Steven? Not that we, you know, stick to a schedule ourselves. <laughs> um, yeah. What if Christy's going to come on down? I'm going to send her a message. All right. I wasn't joking about it. I'm not going to eat all this pasta. I can't, I can't have a whole lot of pasta. Diabetes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, two, I have two favorite meals. Anything pasta... And buffalo chicken. One of these days here on the show, we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the two. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is this is right up my alley. I love it. Uh, his other show got picked up by a streaming service. I'm not sure which. So we got sidelined for a bit. Well, I mean that's cool for him, but it also gives you guys more opportunity too to kind of plan out your next episode and your next moves and stuff. So that's cool. It's not a bad thing. Use that time wisely. Um, how are we looking? Uh, you tell me. Your recipe. I don't know how much you want that rendered. Uh, it's, we're about halfway there. Okay. You want to turn up a little bit more? I think you did. A little bit more. Yeah, I did. I did. All right, so I guess I'm hesitant to do the sauce part too soon because I want to make sure that our water is up to a boil. Oh, and I need to check this. He's learning how to cook pasta. He's got to read the instructions. Six minutes. So we're using uh, not just spaghetti, but bucatini. 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 Do you Is know that the, the difference? One little holes you got like it. You got really it. Really long, thin uh, macaroni that's not bent. That's right. So I literally am looking through the pasta right now. Um, There's got to be some work to do that. Yeah, I don't know anything about the pot the process. I'm sure it's done by machine. I would imagine but mo- it wasn't I mean, done by machine. Right. Um, so the the philosophy behind using this specific pasta, and here's the thing, you shouldn't just be like, oh, I love elbow macaroni, and when he's that in all my pastas. Listen, every dish has one that's like designed for it. Mm-hmm. The reason for this, that sauce is going to go actually inside the noodle. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to be so yeah. good. Um, and I will say, um, if you if you're in the noodle section at, at your grocery store or whatever. Um, it's really hard for a lot of us to figure out, okay, this is a good one and this is not, and I don't know anything about it. Um, you want something that's going to be um, have a more of a grainy kind of texture um, that's going to take hold of some of your sauce. Um, the other thing is you get what you pay for in a lot of cases. So if you're going to spend a dollar and a half on pasta, go all out and spend another dollar. Spend two and a half dollars or you know three dollars, whatever it is. Um, it makes the big difference because literally the star of this dish is the pasta, so don't skimp on that. Um, you're only having to buy four ingredients on this one anyway, so. You probably got most of them at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got water? Oh, yeah, yeah, the elephant in the room. Uh, so did I miss the part in the show where Josh's hair got caught in a blender or something? Are you calling me an elephant? I lost <laughs> all that weight. I thought those bad jokes would stop. Well, you know. <laughs> What's he talking about? My hair in the blender. Your hair's awful short. 
What? What? I don't know what you're talking about, man. At all. Yep, just got tired of it, folks. He got tired of it, folks. You get older, you got to decide you have to grow up someday, right? Oh, man. Surely not. No. It's just, it needed to cut. Yeah. I it thought, you time. know, I'm not doing anything by half anymore. So right. if I'm yeah. going to cut my hair, I'm going to cut gonna my hair. You're going to do it or you're going to not. That's right. I'm gonna... He says, oh, looks good, brother. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I like it over here on, on the YouTubes because you can see that Steven, it looks like, has a short haircut on yeah. his profile. So, very nice, very nice. He either needs to update that or it has been updated. Right. What's funny is you're like, man, should we get this thing boiling before we go? And I'm like, no, because it's going to come together really fast. And yeah. I'm like, you know, maybe we should have. But it's it's going, it's going. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. I don't know. Well, you can... You can yeah, we can do that. Uh, it's number seven right there, I think. I don't need that. Here. Yeah, see, we got some we got some movement going on over Have here. Have you ever put oil in the water? Yes, do not do that. Do not do that. But my bus is going to stick. No, it won't. Leave it alone. Don't do anything. Well, it also helps it boil pretty well. It changes don't the... Don't do anything. It changes the... What's called the turgor pressure, which is the, the pressure on the top of the water, which... Disrupts that. Basically, so it, it, keep, it puts a fence or a, a whatever it over the top gates. and keeps the steam down to make it go faster. Right? No. Uh, on, okay, so like you've seen pictures of how, like when water, when you fill it to the rim, it kind of. The meniscus. Yes, okay. That's what it does. It breaks the meniscus. Makes it a little easier. Gotcha. To don't put, don't, on. Do you, but the first time you do this, do not put oil in your water. A break of your bones. Speaking of break, don't break your pasta either. You don't need to do that. Get a bigger pot. Um, but I don't have room for that. Okay, well then you could still do this in one of those little four quart pots. You're gonna be all right. Right. It'd be all right. Don't worry. Be happy. Put a lid on it. Yeah, Kim. Jeez, why didn't I think of that? I've got a lid somewhere. Where did I? Oh, over here. Yeah, I just didn't even think to talk about my hair today. <laughs> You're a genius. This is what you were talking about, by the way. Yeah. Um, I've got one that's really fancy. It has a uh, vegetable steamer in it. Mm -hmm. We're not steaming vegetables. <laughs> I got nowhere to go with this. Um, and yeah, so a colander that's built in that slips right down in there. Um, again, we're not doing that tonight because we want to have some of that pasta water in there. Um. Boy, I got nowhere to go with this stuff. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Well, set it back over here. Lovely, lovely lardons. Like that technical term. Man, yeah. Um. <laughs> Steven says, I'm science triggering right now. <laughs> Explain it to us. Explain it was to I us, wrong? Steven. Was I wrong, Steven? Give us the lowdown. Man, I should have thought of that. Come on. Come on. Uh, Christopher says, have to keep your pasta moving. It won't stick. That's right. That's right. Um, my God, what a difference that made already. Is it ready to go? No. Almost? No. no. Um, yeah, so what are, uh, first of all, if any of you guys out there watching our cooks are like, you know, every now and then I don't mind getting in the kitchen. What's something that you enjoy making? Let's, let's start there. Josh, what's one of your go-tos? Oh, I've been known to make a cheesecake a time or two. A cheesecake? A cheesecake. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that would... What kind of cheese do you use? Uh, I go for a good blue cheese. Ooh. People are real surprised when they do <laughs> Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> I tell them it's blueberries, but uh, they know quickly. <laughs> right. It's not. Hmm, did you make this with your feet? <laughs> That's the Limburg one. Yeah. <laughs> or lum, 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 Limburger? Lump. Yeah, lum, Limburger cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so let me scroll this for anybody that's... 
Just got here. That's what we're doing tonight. We're making carbonara. Super simple, super easy, um, super non-involved, to be honest. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and get started on this. Uh -huh. uh, can we do maybe? Yeah, we can do right. Yeah, that one. Uh, nope. Yep, the other one. Uh, nope, that thought you went to. There we go. So in this bowl right here, I'm going to take my eggs. By the way, go ahead and go back to. By the way, when you're doing eggs, don't go on the side of your bowl like that. This came out of a chicken's ass. Placa. You do not want whatever gunk might still be on there inside of your egg. Because when you, here you go, Mr. Science Guy. When you push in, some of that is going inside the egg. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot easier to if you go right on a flat surface. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, now let's go back over here. Ah, keep, oh, geez. So we're gonna go four eggs. All right, four eggs. Um, you don't need a whisk. You don't need to get anything fancy. Get a fork. A fork is going to be the best thing to mix your eggs. Oh, yeah, I guess I could go this way so you guys can see. Ooh, he's whipping eggs. Whip it. Whip it good. Seen the price of eggs? Yeah, buddy, this is uh, we're splurging tonight, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're gonna take some cheese, some chiz, maybe. What have I done? We're just gonna cheese it up, yo. Is there a Amount that they should be looking at. For yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, we'll put it, you know, in the description afterwards. Okay. I'm gonna eyeball it. Ah, presser's on her way. Yay! Anybody else watching that wants some food, come on down. All right, we're gonna start there, if you wanna show this. All right, you wanna go right there? Yeah. Uh, you want me to bring it over? Well, no, no, that's fine. Oh, I guess I can, yeah, just I can be not camera. brain dead and, yeah. yeah. Camera doesn't move, you do. That's right. <laughs> Do a cooking show, they say. It'll be easy, they say. Yeah, it's fine. Seen it on TV, they make it look so easy. Rachel Ray does it. Ugh, you gross. wouldn't do it. You don't like Rachel no, Ray? No, not a Rachel Ray fan. Uh, I've got I've got a pretty lengthy list, actually, of people I'm like, Bleh. not a who, fan. Who is your, who is the one that you hate the most? Gordon Ramsay? No, because um, I do like the Gordon Ramsay slash uh, Simon Cowell. Yes. Yeah, you know, asshole and yeah. thing. Um, it, it's honestly probably a tie between the Barefoot Contessa and um, Gala De La Renta. And probably why? more Gala De La Renta. Why? Because she's annoying. Is she? Um, yes. Uh, well, and Rachel Ray. Because Rachel Ray can never say a full word. It's not delicious. It's delish. It's not a, a trash bowl. It's a... It's a TB, or a, it's like, oh, come on. It's not that hard. Um, Evo, e -E. Evo, yeah. Evo, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, it's cooking. It's not rocket mm -hmm. science. Just call it what it is. 
know, I'm kind of that way with Martha Stewart. I think she just kind of yeah. She, she, she's very. She comes across very goes, uppity. Yes. She yeah. Does. But then she does stuff with Snoop Dogg, and mm-hmm. like, okay. Well, a lot of mine. It, it's honestly a lot of personality. But mm-hmm. honestly, I'll I'll sit and watch somebody with the crappy personality if they make a lot of good food. Right. If they don't use a lot of ingredients, and I can't find at my local grocery store. Right. Um, I love Emerald. A lot of his. I'm like. Dude, I live in Springfield, Missouri. Like, I can't get, yeah, you know. Yeah, you Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm like, so because of that, there's some that I'm like, ah, I wish I, I had, they had more recipes that were um, catered more to our area. But since yeah. they don't. Run out to your uh, corner store and get you some uh, saffron fries. Right, yeah. Only set you back a couple hundred mm-hmm. bucks. Um, all right, I'm going to let you take this one, Josh. Okay, what? Who that? The oil is there to attach to the pasta to coat it. Pause. When you do that, oil is going to s- stay on top of your pasta while your sauce is going to try to attach to the pasta, and it won't. That's why I say don't add oil. Continue on. Okay. Not the way to do it unless you plan on meal prepping, and then it keeps better with the oil coat. Yeah. And in fact, I wouldn't use oil. I would use butter. Just me. Um, Kim says, I like to bake. First new one I've tried this year was eggnog bread that I had. And it was great. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Um, and then I think, didn't you make some kind of pumpkin muffins or something today? Yeah. Uh, and that she, sounds dirty. <laughs> it really does. Uh, she, Kim says, and there's $4 worth of eggs. You're, mm, you're kind of not yeah, wrong. Well, uh, no, I actually, I got a dozen. I think there were... I don't remember. I should have paid attention. Well, I know they're running about four dollars a dozen. Kim and I have been having a lot of fun messaging each other with all the high-priced egg memes. Yes, so like hilarious. Uh, this week on MTV Cribs, and you see like a refrigerator, and it's just got like eggs loose in the in the side thing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's I funny. saw a meme the other day that said uh, the economy, but like something like the economy was so good. Um, back in the eighties, we purposely threw eggs and toilet paper at the houses. houses. Yeah, yep. yeah, yep. That one was a good one too. Uh, and then there was one of this this rapper, and he's like, "Yo, yo, yo, yo!" And instead of like big gold chains with all this jewelry, he's got big gold chains with a carton <laughs> of eggs. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Christopher says, "I already ate, but thanks. Uh, it's coming together nicely, though." Yeah. Uh, 100% right, Jared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every now and then. Made pumpkin oat muffins with walnuts. Man, well, that, that sounds yeah. great. That sounds like fall in a cup. Or in a... Or a, in a you know a what I mean. Wrapper, Come on. Yeah, a yeah, wrapper. Yeah. You know. A, a wrapper. Wow, wow. Fall, fall. Autumn, autumn. We're getting there. That's why I cook, not wrap. Um, I don't know. You're pretty street, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight hood. Oh, that is rendering nicely. Yeah, it's, like it's burnt. It's just, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The secret is low heat and patience. Um, again, if you if you fire that up and you're like, man, I got time for this, or I cook my bacon so much quicker than this. Well, first of all, you should. Uh, yeah. 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 It's I Italian. mean, it's We're Italian. We're going Italian. Italian. Um, again, you've got to let that fat render, which means to melt down um, that oil to get out of there, and you want to do that without that meat cooking so fast that now all of a sudden you're burning the meat part and you still got all this gristly fat. That's why your bacon is also not crisp because you're cooking it too fast in a lot of, case, in a lot of cases. Um, well, we might, you guys tell me what you think, we might even do just like some random little short clips of not even a full recipe of like, here's the what we found to be the best way to make bacon or here's what we found to be the best way to cut an onion or... You know, all these things that people are like, oh, you know, I never even stopped to ask my mom or my grandma, like, how does she do this? Or like, oh, I don't know how to even start on this. Mm-hmm. And we'll, we'll do it together. So, yeah. I used to love to watch America's Test Kitchen. It's kind of. Yeah. Uh, because they, they try everything every single way and they come up with great ideas on how to cook. Uh huh. Yep. Like, For sure. What are some of your guys' favorite cooking shows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you're like, screw those cooking shows. I just wing it. Right. Jared and I like to talk about the Great British Bake Off. Mm-hmm. Whenever we that's are on fans. Netflix, we we like, are fans. Can you believe she got kicked out? 
Well, I called that one. Right. That old lady should have stayed around. She deserved to stay there longer. Nice. Yeah. Yes, I will fish that out. I didn't see what you did. Oh, perfect. There was a big clump of cheese that broke off and went right into our, our stiff. No, you need a really, well, it's awful hard to do a, you have to use a fine grater with the farmer's shop. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot better to do yeah. a fine, a fine thing. Um, here's another thing. Uh, we're talking about, listen, there are going to be times where taking shortcuts is okay, and I will tell you, boom, this is where you take a shortcut. Mm -hmm. This is one of those where you kind of don't want to. Um, if you're like, ah, oh, I don't want to spend, you know, like that. I'll be honest, that was like a 10 something dollar piece yeah. of cheese. Uh, might even been closer to 15. But why did I do that instead of um, like just getting a bag of pre shredded Parmesan cheese? Yes, you can do that. Quality. Quality, but again, it's only got four ingredients. So let those four ingredients do the work. Right. Um, and what I said earlier, that's what the recipe said. Yeah. So the first time that we do it, that's what we're going to do. Right. Um, if you're like, okay, I did that, like on a date or something, and now it's just a Tuesday, and you know what? That was pretty good. I think yeah. I want it again. Sure. We'll get, get you a bag of Parmesan. <laughs> get you some bacon. You know. Yeah. If you, I mean, bring the recipe down. And if you can't taste the difference, some people can. I, I mean, I, I know I'm going to taste the difference between that. You won't need to use as much either to get the flavor that you want. Right. Too. Yeah. And another thing, too, is um, it, since we're using this as a sauce, the packaged stuff, you know that white stuff that you see on cheese? Mm -hmm. That's a filler. That's basically like to keep it from sticking to itself. That's going to like gunk up your sauce. Um, and we don't want to do that. By golly. By George. Um, you can grate the cheese with a food processor and keep it in the freezer. Use it as you need it. Keep the rind, toss it in soup for flavor. That's Those are great yes, points. I've Good job, Kim. Yes. Yeah, um, I will say I'm guilty of throwing the rind away, so I I just learned something myself tonight. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's great. Um, and great tip on freezing things too. I am trying to do better myself in my own personal life about freezing things and um, making like if you're gonna make something like a tomato soup, for example, don't make enough just for that night. It's so easy. You've already got everything already to double your ingredients and then just take half of it, put it in the freezer. Boom, you've got for in a week or two, if you want to redo it, you can do it. It's going to... Oh, I'm getting oh on gotcha, table, gotcha, gotcha. So oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to clean you do that you. up and then put a little paper towel there to set this on. So it you do you. So, um, looks like we're boiling away. I love it. I love it. Kimmy, save the day. Jeez, Chrissy, where do you live? It's... It takes 15 minutes. No, I don't know. Right. I'm not going to make all this. Well, Chris is going to be here. That's all right. I don't know what you're... Uh, mm -hmm. no. There we go. Oh, let me get this comment up there. There we go. Okay, so we've got our pasta in. Let me start my timer. This pasta that I've got is uh, going to be done in about six minutes. So I'm going to get my timer going. Timer's on. Okay, so I'm going to gently work this around. Work it. You better work, girl. Work it, girl. Work it. And get this inside the water. Oh, shnikes. Add salt, people. This is, before you put your pasta in, add salt. This is going to look like a lot. Do not be shy right here. This water needs to be as salty, they say, as the Mediterranean. Uh, and that's why I use this big old giant, I don't use like a fancy salt for this part. Because uh, you want to use a lot of it. All right, looks like everybody's getting happy, getting their bath, getting a, a spa day in the jacuzzi. 
and we're gonna let it do its thing. Um, let's see how Josh is looking over here. I'm looking great, dude. Yeah, look at this. Looking good, looking good. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this oil out, the fat, if you will. I realize you can't see that, but you'll have to bear with me. I'm trying to work here. There we go. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, Josh. It's not that serious. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at those lovely lardones. <laughs> oh, the who? Lardones. 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 Right on. I'm going to get rid of it. You know what go that goes well with? Coffee. Oh yeah. Ever had red eye gravy? Red eye gravy. Red eye gravy. Have you ever heard of it? I don't know. No. It sounds familiar, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't know. It's a gravy that a southern gravy. I believe it's bacon fat coffee. Yeah, it's it's weird stuff that southerners eat. No thanks. And chocolate gravy. <laughs> Have you ever heard that? Ew, y'all are trash. Ba ba basically, it's a like a chocolate, a thin chocolate pudding. Trash. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's Arkansas. I grew up in Arkansas. Woo! I never ate the stuff. Okay. But. All right, all right, all right. Um, yes, our pasta is looking good. Notice I haven't really touched a lot. I promise you, you don't have to babysit it. That's also a part of uh, why people are like, but my boss always sticks. Two things. I bet your dish, your pot, your whatever you want to call this is not big enough. Mm -hmm. And I bet on top of that, you're putting in too much pasta and you're crowding it. And mm -hmm. it's got nowhere to go. It should have room in there to like just, you know, yeah. disco dance if it wants. You don't want to crowd the pot. Right. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you're just a bad cook. I mean, there's maybe that. There's that. Cook. Um... You should actually not use iodine, iodized salt in that water. Tell us why, Stephen. And then I'll tell you why I don't care. <laughs> no. It's probably a wise thing not to, but go ahead. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Tell us why. Tell us why. He's feverishly typing. Yeah, he is. Tell. Yeah. OMG. <laughs> You know, if you wanted, you could prop that door open. I could, but it'd get colder in here. Oh, well, that's fine. I mean, I'm standing next to a boiling. There you uh -huh. go. Boiling See, I don't boiling. even need to. Wonder who, who rang that? that bell? I wonder who that could be. Well, well, well. Uh, yeah, you might even. Oh, that's all right. You can set that backpack down so she has a chair. Yeah. This is how we answer the door in the audio room. That's here, right. right. Let's. Uh, Where is it? Well, hi there, there friend. Hi. How's it going? Watch, mind the cords. Mind the cords. Hey, how's the, how's it going, Christy? Going. Everybody say hi to our good friend, Christy. Hello. Uh, Christy, you were here when we made white chocolate pumpkin no bake cookies. Is that no? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um. So tonight. Carbonara. Yeah. I hope you brought an appetite because we brought we brought some food, man. Yeah, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. Mm. Add a girl. Yeah. Add a girl. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Cool. Um, just a few more seconds on this. Steven has not replied on why. Yeah, we are that. we are needing to know. Yeah, we this. Have more facts are we can't we can't verify what you're saying, dude. Yeah, uh, he said. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Sandman. Christy. Uh, you just want sodium taste. Flavor. 
the iodine will break off and season your pasta. I want my pasta seasoned, actually. So take that, boy. All right, uh, here's what we're going to do, Josh. All right, let's do it. We are going to set this here. Okay. We are going to turn your heat on low. Done. Bring your pot over here, sir. And this is where the magic happens. And I will say this. We're not supposed to burn this table. Listen here, Tom. It's wood. But <laughs> since you, uh... We're a little... About it. <laughs> right, yeah. Somewhere around here, I've got some... Trivets, or I thought I did. And you know what? It'll be all right. Yeah. And if not... Too bad. Come over here and hey, do something we're about it. Pasta here. <laughs> we're walking here. We're, 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 we're walking. <laughs> we're walking. Hey, be careful with the spaghetti. What Look at this. Doing? Not sticking. Go ahead and give me that close up. Okay, that one would be seven. That. Seven? Yeah, that's not right there. Not sticking together. Look at that. Beautifulness. Do not drain this. Get it right in your pan. Bring it in the pan. Here's an idea, too, before I start taking it all out. Mm. Is it a nice al dente? Mm hmm. If I was making this as a finished product, I would cook it for another minute, probably. But since we're going to put this over the heat and create our sauce, that's where we'll get our last minute. Should have grabbed my uh, calmer tone. Ah, uh, taller tone. Yeah. Taller tone, taller tone. That won't work. I'm not worried about getting every noodle, but I do want to make sure that I got most of it. It looks like that, sir. Put it right there. All right, fry that up. Uh, here we go. Trying to escape, dude. Okay, so here's. Here's the important part. Let me, okay, that's off. So we'll cover this and let it be <coughs> weird. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the most important part of this recipe. Okay. Do not lollygag. You will get scrambled eggs. We don't want scrambled eggs. So that's why we turned our heat okay, on so low. We're not tempering the eggs? We, no. Um, okay. The, um, we are, actually. Um, putting a little bit of water in we're there. putting some pasta water in here. Okay. The, um, this is called tempering the egg. Yeah. And what it is, it brings the egg up to a temperature where it's not going to scramble. The other thing with this dish, I'll be totally honest. Um, this is not something that you're like, oh, I've got a date coming over in an hour. I'm going to go ahead and get this all ready so I don't have to be in the kitchen. Don't do that. You're, it'll thicken up a lot uh, once you leave it out for a little bit. So you don't want to do um, too much in advance. Right. And the starch in the water from the pasta is a natural thickener. Absolutely. Yep. All right, Josh. So we'll uh, go on in with this. And you start here. I'll give you these. get that moving. What I'm going to do is take one. I'm going to start with one ladle full of. Well, actually, I'll just stop right there because it looks like we've got quite a bit going. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. Hmm? Oh, Lord. Hey, Jared. 
Yes. Why didn't the Fetish League go out for, for Halloween? It was, a, it was too, I almost said it. <laughs> oh, man. I was too afraid of. Not with iodine, you don't. Well, that's why I have a great immune system. <laughs> I poisoned it. How are we looking? Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some cheese in here. Uh-huh. With you. Uh, what camera is that? I can't see through you. Four. We're going to grate some cheese on top of here. There's nothing you can do to this that you can't fix. If you're like, oh, it's too watery, or oh, it's not, it's too thick. It's too watery, add cheese. If it's too thick, add some pasta water. You're not going to mess nothing up. Do I need to let it sit for a little bit? No, you want to keep it moving. Like it's starting to thicken up a little bit. Yeah. Now what uh, what consistency are we looking for? With you sauce? want it to be nice and creamy. Um, so what? This is one of those things that is not. Oh, I almost caught it. Um, to your this is to your taste. So uh, if it says add add a half a cup of this and and one ladle full of that, if that looks like a not good consistency to you, do whatever you think is going to do best. If you're like, oh, but I really like it really kind of more watery or creamy or, you know, that kind of thing, do that. You do you. I'm still going with some more. I was a little bit shy on the cheese in the, um, in the egg. Okay, so... No, no need to be shy. Hey, we're cooking here. Yeah, now it's looking good. Mm -hmm. Nice and creamy. All right, let me get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, clean as you go. That's another thing that discourages a lot of people from cooking is they're like, yeah, but I don't want to sit there in the kitchen for an hour after I've cooked cleaning. If you clean as you go, it's not as bad at all. Um, Oh, you a pro now? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some black pepper. Bam. You're making me nervous. I used to flip omelets, dude. All right. Flip some of that in here, would you? I will do that. Whoa. What in the hell? Did you just have a stroke? No. <laughs> but if you have a stroke, remember the acronym FAPS. Face, arm, speech, and time. <laughs> Lord. Yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. Miss Pressler? I'm so excited. There. A little more. Oh, I did not. Thank you. Mr. Chef. Bon appetit. So <laughs> yeah. We're eating with gold tonight, folks. Uh, can you see that? I love gold. 
Oh, by the way, did you hear about that? Go. Did you hear about that Italian chef that passed away? No. He passed away. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right. All right. Cheers. Let me hang on before we do. Marsha's here, looking really yummy. Do you deliver to Lebanon? No. Maybe. Uh, well, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yes, actually, we. I will. I will see to it that you get Ubered food. Uh, Chris says I used to manage Waffle House third shift. Well versed in clean as you go. I, I, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody that's actually worked in the kitchen knows way more about it than even I do. All right. Let's dig in, kids. What do we think? All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Man, really mm -hmm. good. Um, a lot of times, I'll be honest, I will use just regular, like, thick spaghetti. So this is actually my first time having... You could... No, shit. <laughs> Bucatoni. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. The, the sauce layers around it really nicely. It's not like drop to your bowl, whatever. Right. It's actually mm -hmm. sticks to it. Mm-hmm. Because we put no oil in our water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and everybody looks so attractive when they mm -hmm. eat this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just took a at home bite, not a hey, yeah. you're on the YouTube's bite. It's just like eating wings, like you gotta go through it. There's no. That's right. This is good stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good teamwork. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Shelby get fat. I love it. Right? Not a bad gig. All right, so, gang, what should we make on the next episode of Rock and Roll Recipes? Tell us down below. Don't worry, we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> or they can comment later, too. That's right. What's the old bar recipe? Yeah. Yeah. We do appreciate everybody showing up mm -hmm. over here on YouTube. Uh, I, I do know that that's a, a bit weird still, since we've been on Facebook doing our live show for the last three years. So I realize it's going to take some getting used to, but I so appreciate you guys joining us here tonight for this uh, fun little live cooking sesh. Uh, what we might do is take this video, chop it up, and upload it so it's its own little recipe online, and uh, it'll be easy to access. And make sure to subscribe to the Audio Roast channel and ring the notification bell. That way, <laughs> Jared won't be so embarrassed when he's eating pasta. So that way you will get notifications when we post new videos and do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Are we starting at 5 o'clock? Are we starting at 7 o'clock? Are they going to start at 6.30? We don't even know. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and it'll go, Hey, Audio Roast is live. I'm not going to send you a bunch of junk mail, none of that crap. It's just going to say, Hey, you want to watch this? It's on. That easy. Well... Man, I can't wait to eat the rest of this. But. I know, it's, I'm just torturing mm -hmm. myself. It's worth the carbs, ladies. And it is worth mm -hmm. the carbs. It's worth the carb bananas. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the hell? Look who joined in. Um. Oh wait. Um. Christopher says, "Should I do some barbecue?" Yes, Ooh, sir. There you go. Yes, sir. Um, ribs. ribs or nothing. There you go. Julia says, I walk into the fabulous Cobb house after an 11-hour work day. First of all, gross. Bless your heart. Uh, and what do I see? Joshua, Jared, and Christy. What's happening? Well, watch the show. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what's happening. Oh, I did the wrong thing. It's Let's go down here. Food and they said they're offering so. There you go. We're making carbonara. That's what we're doing. Uh, that's what we did, and it is delish. Um, can you go to whatever this camera is? That would be audience. Yeah, look at this. Let me let me even get. Let me really do this up. 
I mean, if I could find the thing, that'd be great. Oh, there's your cover shot for the video. Mmm. Mm. Shoot, I should take put. this off of there too. Make it even more official. Well, looks like we're starting to get an omelet. Yeah. Um, okay, save for later. This Breakfast. Way, there you go. Uh, so yes. So we've got <laughs> pancetta. We've got some wonderful pasta. We've got a creamy sauce made from cheese and egg and black pepper. That's all this is. And you're like, Jared, that just sounds like some flavored noodles. This is full of flavor. It's good stuff. Um, and the uh, the pancetta is really well rendered. It's got that nice mm -hmm. crunch to it, but not like a, oh my God, you cooked this for three days kind of crunch. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I actually got a proposal. I would like to, I don't know if anyone else would like this, but I would like to see a Jared versus Josh meal. Mm. Mm. See who makes it better with a nice little audience to, to be the judges. That would be fun. And the winner and loser can come up with a deal. Mm -hmm. Since we're like, the winner gets something or loser has to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, cut hair. Cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Another idea that I had that I told Josh about with this whole cooking thing is um, we've got these fabulous curtains here. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool? For me to have a recipe that I know inside and out, mm -hmm. you've never done or heard of, mm -hmm. and I say, okay, you've got to bake, you've got to uh, cook your pancetta, you've got to cook your pasta, and these are the ingredients for the sauce, and just let you do it. You're either going to scramble eggs, and you're going to overcook your pasta, or whatever, uh, and see, test your skills in the kitchen that way. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really fun. Um, especially if we could find people that have no idea what they're doing in the kitchen. And they're like, oh, you know what my favorite thing to cook is? Peanut butter and jelly. Right. You are a prime candidate to come in and, and do some of this with us. Um, Julia says, how about a lovely Irish breakfast fry up? Bangers, rashers, uh, call, call cannon potatoes. I hope I said that right. Um, eggs, beans, white pudding, black pudding, soda bread, sauteed mushrooms, and tomatoes. Julia, come on down. Seriously, that would be a lot to do and a lot of fun to do. Um, I would enjoy that a lot. And to be honest, I've never done it. So, come on the show and show us how it's done. What you just said about Josh, you can do that too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. See, if I know what I'm talking about, since that's all I do is talk about it. Um, yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, so... Uh, good suggestion, Julie. How about anybody else out there watching? What's something that you're like, hey, I wonder if uh, they could pull this one off? Hit us. Hit us with it. Um, or if you've got like the specific recipe or a link or whatever you want to send us, you can email it to us. You can send it to us on Facebook Messenger. Uh, you put it down in the comments, whatever you want to do. I can vouch that that is a lot to do, yes. And also a lot of dishes to do, I'll bet. <laughs> But it does sound really good. I, I'll be honest, I'm such American trash. Uh, beans for breakfast does not sound good to me. But maybe it is. Maybe you just got to go all in and, and give it a shot. Uh, British are weird. Yeah, they are. They are. I don't know. Do we put over chili or something? Not for breakfast. No, not really? Nope. Nope. Sure do not. Sure yeah, not. Lived. <laughs> lived over chili. Yeah. Um... What else? What else? We've got some fun shows coming up. You guys, I promise. <laughs> it has been insanely busy um, for us personally, between band practices and all that. Um, just a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Even right here at where we shoot, there's a lot of changes on the other side of these walls going on. Um, and so it's, it's been a back and forth uh, pole dance, if you will, with scheduling. Um, it's a very uh, intricate and delicate situation. So um, we we are gonna get back to the the guests and the games and the fun and the da 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 da. -da. In the meantime, though, we're just hanging out and having some fun with you guys, like we've always done. And we so appreciate you guys being here for us and with us. Um, if anybody has any other suggestions, please feel free to put them down below in the comments. We'll take a look. Um, speaking of comments, I know last week people were asking. 
When we come back with guests and do the full show, we will return to our seven songs in seven days. I've already listened to them. I've already got them ranked, and they are awesome. Um, you guys have been sending in some really good suggestions and stuff, so keep it up. You guys are just awesome with sending in music for us to listen to uh, that kind of gets in our ear holes and stays there for a few days. So I enjoy that very much. Um, Josh, you got anything that we... Uh, if you're drunk and got a broken foot, why not call an Uber? There you go. Yeah. Speaking of drunk with a broken foot, uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, advance to the next, uh, yeah. Let us go to the comments. Sure. <laughs> Why not? How about the dance a little bit more? Try one more. All righty. Oh, we all out of time. Let me see if I can... Uh... Oh, I love this iPad for this. Look how easy that was. Look at that. Um, okay, so yes, we are all out of time. Wah, wah, wah. What's the next one? The next one? I think the website. Yep. We're going to be updating this. Here's the deal. I'm going to pull the curtains all the way back. You don't believe me? Watch this. All the way back. Here's, here's what's behind these curtains. Um, there's a lot of merchandise due to supply issues. Now I said that. I'm just going to grab my cup. Um... <laughs> Due to supply uh, chain issues, there's I've gotten notifications that there's a lot of shirts that we've had on there that are no longer available. Basically, it's the physical shirt that it's printed on is no longer available, so I had to take all those designs, put them on a different shirt. Not a big deal, right? But what a perfect opportunity to get rid of that nasty P word, podcast. Because um, we haven't been a podcast for two years, uh, if we're being honest. Um, so... I would like to do that. I would also like to add more types of merch. So that's going to be um, getting with other websites and stuff to get in on our audiorose.com for some really cool and unique merch. Uh, seven songs in seven days. That'll get updated. We're also going to put on a rock and roll recipes tab so that you can just go to that and boom, carbonara, here you go. It'll have a link to our YouTube page where we made it, the whole thing. It's going to be really cool. Um, what else is on there, Josh? Uh, we got ways to support us. Yeah, so uh, links to our Patreon, that kind of stuff. Uh, links to our sponsors uh, that support us, um, help us keep the lights on and keep the, uh, the burners going. All that kind of fun stuff. Now then. Oh, God. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Forgot to delete that. Uh, okay, final thoughts. Here's my final thoughts. Everybody, remember what you're supposed to say about Dan. No. Okay. F you, Dan. Um, listen, <laughs> I thought I'd go support my good buddies over at Marty's Sports Bar and uh, pay them a visit last night. And, oh, yeah, and, guess you what? Know, <laughs> yeah, just really, man, I'm so proud of all that you guys have done and are doing. Let me just swing by there and throw some bones to you, have a few drinks, etc., etc. Dan says... Yeah, you know, I've always thought, uh, I don't know if you could hang. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, easy. I'm like, seriously, easy. I was uh, almost 30, still hanging out with kids in college that drank their asses off, and I kept up more so than them. Let's also not forget that I, too, worked at a bar. In fact, I worked at multiple bars in my life. Trust me, easy. You don't want to mess with that. So he says, okay, have you had an Irish trash can? I was like, you mean an Irish car bomb? He's like, no, 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 an Irish trash can. I said, no, but I smell bullshit already. <laughs> and he said, well, well, well. And I said, hang on, I've got two rules. No Guinness and no Jaeger. I am not a fan. Uh, he's like, you're good. We, it's got neither one. We'll, we'll do it. And I was like, okay, but come on, what's in it? He's like, it's like a Long Island I see. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm like, okay, all right, so. Uh, he orders them for the bartender, puts in the order for us. And the bartender turns around, and she kind of does this with, here's two alcohols, here's two more alcohols, um, here's another, a fifth alcohol, and here's some Red Bull. So it is gin, tequila, vodka, rum, blue curacao, no mixer, straight alcohol, a.k.a. rocket fuel. Right. And you take a Red Bull, pop the top 
upside down. Now what's going to happen is it's going to be too much liquid for your cup. So you got to hurry up, you know, and, and drink some of it, which at that point is straight effing liquor. And then the more you drink, the more room the, the Red Bull has time to get up into your drink. And so the more you drink it, the, the softer it gets, if you will. But it is like doing four shots when you first start at once, back to back. And so it's just a countdown of, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Ooh, you know, that Which kind of thing. hit first? I don't know. So here's what's <laughs> funny. So we did that late enough that I was like, he's like, dude, we've got an Uber home tonight. I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> so that's why you didn't come back to see us finish out the night. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, so I, uh, and first of all, I live literally three blocks away from Mars. Right. So it's not, I'm not even going to get into that. I don't, I, I don't care. Judge me. Come at me. Um, so I ended up going home and I was like, man, I'm kind of hungry. So I, I got a little something to eat, sitting on the couch, getting in the YouTube rabbit hole or whatever. And all of a sudden I just fall asleep, wake up. And I'm like, man, I need to pee. Yay. 40 almost. Um, and it was five 30 and I'm like, okay, let me take my butt to bed. And as I'm doing all this, I'm like, I feel totally fine. No hangover, no headache. I never even ever felt like I was drunk. I did feel buzzed, but not like, hey, you guys, man. Never that, surprisingly. So at 10 o'clock, I get a message from Dan. So uh, how are you feeling? I'm like, dude, like I, I, I now have a little bit of a headache, but I feel fine, like not really hungover, not any big deal. Took two ibuprofen, and dude, I felt like a million bucks all day. And I'm like, how? And he's like, dude, I'm feeling it. I'm like, told you. <laughs> That's all I got. Those are my final thoughts. When I say something, I mean it. You know what I'm saying? That means know. challenge accepted. No, stop it. <laughs> yes. That means I got lucky, if I'm being honest. That also means I might have poured some for Tara out of my glass, too. Mm hmm. Some of us are pros. Hey, cheat, huh? Well, shh, shh. no, I'm a no, pro. You're pro. I'm a pro, professional cheater. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Christopher says, have a great week, everyone. You too, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping by, Chris. Seriously, I appreciate that. Uh, let us know, by the way, when your first show is, uh, because if our schedules will allow, I'd love to come see you. Um, all right. That's my final thoughts. Josh, you got any final thoughts? Got none. Uber when you yeah. break a leg and yeah. you're drunk. Chris, do you have any final thoughts? Yay food. Yay food. Yay food. <laughs> I like it. Guys, don't forget the times are hard for everybody. Still, so may your cup of coffee and your love of music and good cooking be strong, but your sense of humor be even stronger. We will see you next week doing something right here on YouTube. Join us when we go. Bye.